One of my very favorites is called Circles of Women and the story is about the pure love between Radha and Krishna. Everyone knows that Radha and Krishna never got married and yet they are worshipped by masses as a couple and this will reflect in the following lines that I'll be reading. No conversation of Krishna today is complete without the mention of Radha. But Radha was never Mrs. Krishna in the way that Sita was Mrs. Ram. The chapter that stuck uh, to me the most was damsels who get bored. It's about Apsaras, you know, who are celestial beings. To give you a taste of what it's about. There is no moral censure associated with a woman who has many lovers. It is almost as if we are talking about a time where women were not bound to men. My favorite story is from this section called Autonomous Homemakers. And I'm just going to read a small section so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the goddess is always autonomous. She is never controlled by male gods. She chooses her role as wife, daughter, mother, protector and provider. Women as a metaphor and my favorite line in that chapter would be God in Hinduism cannot be explained without considering the goddess. And I think that's such an interesting line because it just goes to show that this debate of um, you know patriarchy and all of these things are fairly modern. In ancient times, in Vedic times, um, this wasn't a debate. Uh, you know, women held their own. A goddess was as important as a god.